Hi, Taylor T. Carlson, and it's time for more vinyl heavy metal. One of my all-time favorite guitarists, of course, is Michael Schenker. This guy over the years has played with the Scorpions, UFO, MSG, Contraband, and many different versions of his own band over the years, including what are considered solo albums. And I'm happy to announce that Michael Schenker's back, and he's got a brand new record. This is immortal. Even got a banner here promoting his 50th anniversary in the music business. When he played on the Scorpion's first record, Lonesome Crow, back in 1972, the guy was only 15 years old, and he was already one of the best guitarists in the world. It's great to see this guy is not only still active and still making music, but uh, still making good music, no less. He's a very talented axe man, and we'll do a quick unboxing of this record, and I'll share some of my feedback as well. Even got a nice looking guy. Inner gatefold here with lyrics and songwriting credits. And there's a definite who's who of artists that are on the record. The album was produced by Michael Schenker and his longtime collaborator, Michael Voss. And there's a list of the collaborators that play on the record right here, so I'll read off the list of these guys for you. Ronnie Romero, Jolyn Turner, Rolf Sheepers, Michael Voss, Barry Sparks, Bobo Shop, hope I'm pronouncing that one right, Simon Phillips, Brian Tishy. Steve Mann, Derek Sherinian, Gary Barden, Robin McCauley, and Doogie White. I mean, if you're a heavy metal fan at all, a lot of those names are going to sound instantly familiar. So basically, of the five men that sing for the band Rainbow, he's got three of them on this record. Disappointingly, no Graham Bonnet this time around, from what I can tell. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual record now. Disappointingly, it's on plain old black vinyl, but I guess with him playing a black and white Dean guitar, that's somewhat appropriate. Love the uh, sticker artwork in the middle with his signature guitar and the classic MSG logo. And there's even a nice little bonus item in here I think Schenker fans are going to get a kick out of. This will look great on the wall. I might even have to put this in the background of my channel here. Check that out. Great poster of the album artwork. And the only real problem I have is that the crease in the middle is right down the middle of Michael Schenker himself, but I think putting it in a frame will fix that. And then there's also a little order form for uh, the uh, online store here. This is a few pretty cool t-shirts and things that you can take a look at if you're a fan. So how does Immortal measure up? It's certainly an album worthy of its name. It's only about 10 tracks long, and most of them are fairly brief, but... Despite that, Michael Schenker does what he does best, and with this who's who of artists, every song is great, and he manages to keep things diverse and interesting on every single track. I mean, from the get-go, this album rocks hard, and it doesn't let up. I mean, there's certainly some slower and more melodic songs, and the final track on here is even a remake of In Search of the Peace of Mind, which was a track from Lonesome Crow, the Scorpion's debut, his first professional recording. I have no reservations in saying that fans of Michael Schenker will not be disappointed with this record. Not necessarily the best thing he's ever recorded, but the fact that the guy is 65 years old and he's still making music this good, that's pretty remarkable. A lot of men don't get to live to be this old in the music business, and the few that do, most of them can't make music this good at that age. But Mr. Schenker shows us that age is just a number, and it's a strong record, and probably going to be on my list of the best of the year when the time comes at the end of 2021. Are you a Michael Schenker fan? Did you pick up Immortal yet? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, tell me your favorite track if you've heard the album. Subscribe to my channel for new content because I'm always posting new videos. And give this one a like if you found it helpful or interesting. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.